Yes, I bought more Prada. Does anybody know how to block your husband from watching your videos so he doesn't know? Leave the comment down below. Thank you. Hey guys, how's it going? Yes, I have committed a shopping situation again. But you know what? This time it's not going to be extensively long. Although I do talk a lot, so uh, we'll see how that goes. So I'm going to start with the shoes that I have bought recently. So these guys, these are Stella McCartney platform boots. They do not actually have a name as such. I got them on this new kind of app that I've just recently learned of its existence, actually. It's called XOYO something. I just put it on the screen because I can't remember. But it's basically owned by Netta Porter and it is a luxury fashion kind of same as Netta Porter, except the client is younger. Anyways, I was delighted to get these. I was looking for them in this particular finish color. This is like a patent kind of finish. They come in several different colors, like brown. And that patent, it's called matte black. Yes, so they come in that. But I wanted these. They seem to be kind of sold out everywhere. And I managed to find them because I'm really good at finding things that are sold out. They were also cheaper than like where I've seen them before and um it kind of pretty much full size range was available i got them in my usual standard size which is size 35 and there was a little note when i was buying them it said that they're quite a big fit and i do have to agree with that and let me just tell you a thing or two about these boots so first of all why did i actually decide to buy another pair of boots is because i realized in my wardrobe there is a significant kind of niche a niche consists of Boots that are comfortable on the heel, but comfortable, but hilly, but not like, wow, I'm going out clubbing, I'm just going to a restaurant, and I want to look semi kind of, you know, put together and stuff, but be comfortable at the same time. They seemed like a good idea. I do have an issue with these boots, and I knew this is going to happen. You see, my calf kind of seems like if I was like cycling several kilometers on the bike every single day, what I'm trying to say is I have a fat calf basically and we're having a bit of a a bit of a sausage situation when I put these on because this is quite tight. I already reached out to my fan base on Instagram and I've got several kind of ideas of how to try to stretch these. I only received them yesterday and I'm still considering to actually maybe send them back but you know me, I like them and I want to keep them but they don't fit me well so just bear in mind that if you're buying these they are tight they're tight they're pretty tight but let's just hope i will be able to stretch them how i envision wearing them is like with a kind of like a neat wear dress maybe or a kind of mid-length kind of skirt and i like the contrast of a heavy kind of boot bare leg and you know like a neat wear kind of material i'm not quite thinking of wearing these with jeans or trousers or so just more kind of like you know a bare leg a skirt a dress or something like that perhaps i'll insert some pictures that you actually know what i'm talking about these are my stella mccartney boots that fit me great in my standard size 35 and they're a bit tight in here just better than mine now another pair of shoes that i'm going to be talking about because i might as well are these chanel loafers I did do a video when I compared these to my Prada loafers and you can go and watch that video to learn about these in detail. But just briefly, um, I've got these in size 35 and a half and the only reason why I went 35 and a half was because the black wasn't available in size 35 and I was so desperate to get these fashion statement loafers that I've decided I am going to go half a size up. They are fine. They're quite, um, if you have a white feet, food, I don't know, uh, there might be a bit of a struggle because they seem to be kind of, I wouldn't say tight, just, just fit it, you know, the, to just fit it. So for some of you, it might be an issue. It certainly isn't an issue for me. In fact, I usually have the opposite issue. But anyways, just saying, if you want to know more about these, there is an actual video that I'm going to link for you to go and watch. Now, next item in this haul is this Prada dress. I call it maternity Prada dress because it, 
it is a maternity kind of card although i'm not pregnant and i'm not planning to be pregnant possibly ever ideally ever but if you happen to be pregnant it will fit you let's just put it this way anyways this dress was such a bad vibe and there's a funny thing about this dress you see because prana released this dress like three four seasons ago and it never became a vibe as such it was like mm, okay maybe not and then i actually know people who bought that dress they're like nah bored of it sold that dress and now they're like the dress is back why did i sell it like everybody wants the dress it's totally sold out well yeah it's a weird one it's not really something that happens within fashion industry trends so often but look here we are anyways oops i bought this i got size i think it's size 36 yeah, I got size 36, um, kind of usually size 36, 38 in Prada, more so kind of 38 because it is Italian sizing and the fit is quite small. But I knew that this dress is pretty oversized and it's very kind of, again, maternity like. So I didn't want it to be extremely massive on me, so I went for size 36. In fact, I'm pretty sure that size 38 actually wasn't available at the time, so uh, yeah, I didn't really have much choice. But I am very, very happy with the size choice. It fits me perfectly. And now, let's not lie to each other. I only got it like a couple of weeks ago, you know, because it was sold out and it came back and sold out again. I didn't really wear it, like, out as such, because I find it quite difficult to wear it yeah like it's it's kind of it's not it's not really a dressy dress it's not really a casual dress it's kind of winter it looks silly in my opinion with tights so i'm like hmm, was this actually a good choice but i am hoping that in the summer i will get quite a bit wear out of this i like the way to style it with like a plain white t-shirt underneath so it's not so like expose your body it is quite wide so you know expose your body kind of situation so yeah i have high hopes for this item that i've purchased i probably won't get to wear for the next four months oh i got the dress on farfetch because i know you're gonna ask and it's sold out maybe it's back now but i knew it was like sold out when several days later anyway the next item i'm going to be talking about is this i love it guys i love it this is Balenciaga masculine wool coat. It is double breasted. It's made from wool, although it's not, you see, it, it's kind of like a blazer and it's kind of like a coat. It's kind of in between. You know, coats are thick, blazers are thin. This is like right in between. I so far have been wearing it as a coat. Let me try to show you here. This is not easy, okay? It's just Bear in mind how much effort I put into my videos. Thanks, guys. I got it in a size 36. My usual size when, when it comes to Balenciaga blazers or jackets, the things, is 38. And this is French sizing. And I got this one in size 36. Because I knew that this is very masculine piece. And I'm a pretty small person. So I knew this is going to already be pretty oversized for me. And um, let me just say, I was right. Now, the absolute best part about this particular item is the fact that I've managed to get it on vestiaire. I, I wasn't really looking for it. I mean, I was kind of looking for a more classic coat. You see, I have this Balenciaga hourglass coat, but it's like yellow with pink with like blue. It's a bit, it's a bit much. So it's like, maybe it's time to calm down with the colors, get something gray or a classic black. You know how like classic it goes nowadays in my wardrobe. And then I typed like Balenciaga coat and this piece came at, now listen to this. Guess how much this was? Got it completely brand new. It's never worn, immaculate condition. Amazing, right? Just do me a favor. Pause the video and comment down below how much do you think I have paid for this coat on Vestiaire Collective. So now when you're done, I'm going to tell you. I've paid 220 euros for this coat. What? 
that's also partly the reason why I'm so delighted with this item. But you know what? Um, even if I've paid more for it, I would still be really happy because it is a classic piece. It's very kind of masculine. Um, I do not actually own a masculine coat unless I steal it from my husband. I, I, I just really like it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. So top tip of the day. Keep an eye on Vestia Collective because there are so many pieces in there that are complete steel and it's just a case of like, you know, finding them. So keep an eye. Now, and the last piece in this haul is a bit of a tricky one because I wouldn't quite really consider it a designer, although technically it is a designer. And also I actually bought it in charity shop, believe me or not. So anyways, I am talking about those um what are they, Calvin Klein jeans. I literally just got them today in my local Oxfam charity shop. They are a bit too big for me, but I will probably bring them to alternations or unless I decide to wear them with a belt. I kind of tried them on. I was like, you girl, you need the belt. Anyways, these are classic kind of, you know, classic fit, vintage kind of vibe, super, super straight legs, which is totally, a vibe nowadays, uh, Calvin Klein jeans, and they actually came with um, a label, wait, wait, we have a situation, uh, they were purchased in Farfetch, and they still have a price tag on them, they were 130 euros, obviously they've never worn the tax after there, and I bought them in Oxfam for 50 quid. So, you know, I love straight leg jeans and especially like in the summer wearing them with like sandals, you know, those granddad sandals on those like um, the row sandals and they're going to be absolutely amazing with the loafers as well this season. I don't really wear straight leg jeans with boots for some reason. I kind of find them looking great with um, either sandals or else, um, what do you call these? loafers so anyways this is it i hope you enjoyed it i told you it's going to be a short one you know let's just get it out of the way thank you very much for watching and subscribe to my channel follow me on my instagram and do the uh, click to like my video kind of situation you know the drill okay listen thanks very much and i'll see you next time bye